Hi everyone, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to create your own artbrush so that you can give details on your game artwork. This is the only brush I use so that I can add more details and make my game art more appealing. So we have a wooden block right here and we will be adding some chips and scratches on it by using the artbrush. So before, when I wasn't using artbrush, I have to use the pencil and I'm gonna draw the, the wooden chip manually here. So this is just a sample shape and I'll turn it into multiply and lock it first. Then I'm gonna draw the bottom part of the chip which will then be grouped to the upper part of the chip. So I'll turn this part into screen mode. Then I'm gonna unlock the previous shape right here by pressing Control Alt 2. And then I'm gonna select them both and I'm gonna group them by pressing Control G. All right, so now that we have them grouped, we can actually use them by just duplicating them. But it takes too much time, especially when I want to scale them or rotate them. So I realized I should turn this group right here into a artbrush. So what we can do now, since we have this artwork right here, we can press F5 and activate the brushes panel. And then what we can do is drag and drop this artwork here to our brushes panel. And then it will ask what type of brush are we gonna make. So for this one, we're just gonna be creating an art brush. So select art brush and then press OK. And then we can name our art brush wood chip. And then you can choose to scale proportionately or stretch to fit the stroke length. But for this artwork right here, we can go with scale proportionally first. And then the default direction is pretty much correct at the first time and the method will be none because it already has a blending mode which is multiply for the top part and screen for the bottom part so just press ok and now we're gonna access our artbrush here by pressing B on your keyboard and then we're just gonna draw the chips or the scratches for the wooden panel so I'm just making strokes right here I'm just using my mouse by the way And as you can see, the brush's scale is depending on the stroke or the length of stroke that you make. So if I draw a really long stroke here, the chip would be very large. But if I create a very small pat or stroke here, the scratch would be small also. And by having set up our brush, we can now detail this wooden plank here. As you can see, let's just close this brushes panel here. And as you can see, I'm creating the small dents or small chip on the wood. And now it's up to you to detail your own artwork or how to use the artbrush to make your game art more professional. So for another sample here, we're gonna make this roadmap here into a artbrush so that we can efficiently use and create roadmaps for our games. So what I can do is just press F5 again and just drag this group again on the brush panel and choose artbrush again and then we can just name this road but this time we're gonna choose stretch to fit stroke length and the default direction and method can be the same just press ok so I'm just gonna hide this first and go into brush mode and I'm gonna make sure that the new brush is selected right here and hide it what I can do then is just brush along here as if I'm making a road or a path and as you can see, there's your road. You can then use this technique to create maps for your game stages. And you don't have to manually draw every path since you have a very handy art brush. So I'm just gonna make some more path here. And you can see it makes the process so fast and efficient. And that's how you make the most of Artbrush and be sure to implement this workflow now and save time in creating your game art. Okay, so this video right here is part of my full course on how to make mobile game art with Adobe Illustrator. And if you want to become a mobile games artist, please check the links below. I've also provided a limited discount coupon, so enroll now and see you in my class.